welcome to the Studio YouTube channel. I'm drawing convex and concave shapes for fifth graders. So I actually created a clay model and then I took a picture of it and then I made it into black and white. So here's my clay and I put some Vaseline around it so it would pop off and then I made it into black and white. So this is my source and you can follow along too. You can draw a circle, trace it, and then draw an oval. I'm showing you where the shadow edge is going to be and then I just um, fill it in very gently, very lightly on both sides and then I put a second um, value on it where the rim is and inside the center. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I have one value and then after I spread it out just a little bit, I find the second value that's actually called the core shadow. The shadow edge is gonna help it pop like a little U so I put that there and spread it out a tiny bit take a tissue and I wrap it around my finger very carefully and then I just kind of lightly twirl this around smooth it out if you have a blending stump go ahead and use that I just used a tissue so since it kind of spread around a little bit I'm using the eraser to tidy up my edges so choose what you need to do at this point to tidy things up now I'm going to add more values and this is kind of a finesse. <laughs> this is something that you just need to watch and you can stop and pause and see how things go. You might choose different values than I did. It might not look exactly the same, but look for a rhythm. That's what I would have to call it where there is a pattern of the shadow where it kind of connects um, because it's not just all these little tiny parts together. They do kind of make one big hole and then kind of separate. So I saw some values on that side, but I made it a little too dark. And now I'm kind of making a little bit of texture with my lines. I thought that kind of looked cool. And yeah, if you have other pencils, you can use, yeah, you could use graphite pencils, which are the 2B, 4B, 6B pencils, and even the 2H. I love the 2H and the light areas. I'm just using a regular pencil. It's pretty soft and I like it, it's working. Um, but again, if you have blending stumps and you have the gum eraser and the other types of graphite pencils, go for it. It will make a lot more of a finesse for you and your artwork. So take your time, enjoy this process. It's really, I think it's quite a lot of fun. Stop as you need to and pause as you need to. So I think I'm going to add the box. So it's like a parallelogram, but it wasn't really a perfect square. And so I'm making kind of a cube and you just see really one side of it. And then I shade it in and I do the same process as I did with the convex and concave shapes. And I'm going to take a tissue and smooth it out and then go back in and add more values. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please like and subscribe and add some comments. Take care.